Hello and welcome to Vicon Valeris Tutorials. In this video, we will review how to add Valeris NVRs to the Valeris application server. We will also look at the different properties for the NVR and what changes can be made to its configuration. After logging into the Valeris client, we click on Configuration to enter the configuration screen. Under Network Devices, click on the NVR section. In this example, we have no NVR configured in the system. At the top, there are three buttons. The Add Discovered NVRs button is meant to allow selecting and adding NVRs from those the system has discovered on the network. The discovery process is automatic. The number of discovered NVRs will be shown in parentheses on the button. Click the button to open the list. A screen will show up with a list of the discovered NVRs. If an NVR has only one IP, it'll be shown like this. If the NVR has multiple IPs, you can choose which one to connect to by selecting it from the drop-down menu. You may choose one NVR by selecting one checkbox, multiple NVRs by checking multiple checkboxes, or all NVRs by checking the uppermost checkbox. Click Apply and Close, or if you wish to keep the list open, click Apply. The NVR will be added and should be seen in the list of NVRs. Once the addition is completed, a green check mark in its status column will indicate it's successfully added. If adding the NVR failed for some reason, for example, if the username and password are wrong, an appropriate message will be shown. In case Valerius was not able to discover the NVR, this might happen, for example, if the NVR is on a different subnet or VLAN. You can manually add by following these steps. Click the Add NVR Manually button to open. A pop-up screen will show asking for the NVR's properties. Fill in its IP address, its port, if it's used over a secured HTTPS connection or not, and the username and password to connect it. Note. Both the username and password are case sensitive. Click apply and close or only apply in case you want to proceed and add another one. The default username is admin and the default password is 1 through 4. After the NVR is successfully added, you may change its settings in the properties pane on the right side of the screen. The properties you may change are name the NVR, edit the NVR's IP address and port as well as set it to secured HTTPS communication, change the username and password used to connect to the NVR, assign drive and space for storage. To do that, click on the Assign All Drives button to select all available drives for recording at their full capacity, or selectively enable certain drives and specify how much storage to use. Set the expected number of recording days from this NVR Note, this number should be based on the design parameters and storage calculation made for the NVR. Finally, it's possible to remotely change some of the NVR parameters. Click the Remote Settings button to open the settings screen. Changing the username and password in the screen will change it on the NVR and will become the new credentials when connecting to it. If the NVR has multiple network interfaces, you will be able to pick one network interface and make changes to its IP settings. The NVR configuration page is used to add NVRs to the application server and to configure their different parameters. All the configuration of the NVR is done through this interface and can be accessed when needed. You should now have NVRs configured and are ready to proceed to other configurations.